Hey there, it's your friendly neighborhood mechanic. Today, we're talking about a trouble code that's no laughing matter, PO299. This code is high severity, so don't ignore it or it'll be turbo bad news. So, what is PO299? Well, it's a turbocharger, supercharger, underboost condition. This means that your car's turbocharger or supercharger isn't providing enough boost to your engine. And trust me, your engine needs that boost like I need my morning coffee. So, what are the symptoms of PO299? Well, the first and most obvious symptom is an illuminated check engine light. But, you might also notice reduced power output from your engine. You might also find that your car goes into limp mode, which means it limits the engine power to protect itself from further damage. Another symptom of PO299 is unusual sounds coming from your engine or turbo such as a whining, squealing, or even a hissing noise. So, what causes PO299 code? It could be an intake air restriction or leak, a failed or damaged turbocharger, or a faulty boost charge pressure sensor. For Ford cars, there are a few additional potential causes including a faulty injector control pressure sensor, low oil pressure, an EGR system fault, a variable geometry turbocharger actuator issue, or sticking VGT vanes. For Volkswagen drivers, a faulty wastegate bypass regulator valve can cause PO299. And, for Isuzu, a low fuel pressure condition or sticking turbo nozzle control solenoid can trigger the code as well. So, how do you fix PO299? First off, check for any other trouble codes and repair those first. Then, take a peek at any technical service bulletins that may apply to your car. Next up, start with a visual inspection. Check out the intake air system for any cracks, loose hoses, or blockages. After that, check the turbocharger wastegate regulating valve solenoid for correct operation. This little guy plays a big role in regulating the boost pressure, so make sure it's working properly. If everything looks good there, it's time to focus on the charge pressure control, diverter valve, and all that fancy stuff. Repair or replace any faulty components as necessary. So, there you have it, folks. That's PO299 in a nutshell. Remember, this is a high severity code, so don't ignore it or you could be in for some serious, turbo, trouble. Fixing it yourself can be challenging, so it's better to have it checked out by a professional. And one more thing before we go. If you're interested in learning more about trouble codes and how to diagnose them, check out the OBD Codex Lookup Tool. It's a great resource for understanding all sorts of trouble codes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Happy driving!